The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And then a leper approached, did him homage, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I will do it, be made clean. His leprosy was cleansed immediately. Then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go show yourself to the priest and, and offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The responsorial psalm today is very beautiful for us to reflect upon. The Lord blesses those who fear him. We know that the fear of the Lord is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and it is a gift by which, by which we are instilled with that uh, desire to please God and to not do anything that would offend him, and that fear of offending him that could uh, lead us uh, uh, to et eternal separation from God. And uh, this is something which is so important for us in our society, in the whole world, because sadly there has, uh, people no longer fear God. They uh, fear God or his punishment, which he has openly blasphemed, openly mocked, uh, openly uh, uh, turned away from God, uh, committing horrendous crimes and sins and uh, great evil. And, uh, and uh, we need to pray for a renewal of this uh, great gift of the Holy Spirit. I remember once uh, as a priest, uh, someone told me, uh, Father, I know I'm going to hell, but I don't care. They have refused to leave their life of sin. They refused to turn away from sin, knowing, even knowing that that could lead them to eternal damnation. And so we need to recognize that the fear of the Lord is not a servile fear, but it's a healthy fear which leads us to recognize the justice of God and that justice which can lead us to eternal damnation if we choose to sin and to live in sin and to not repent from sin. God is merciful and he is always waiting for us to return to him and he will forgive any sin uh, that we, we commit when we go to confession and when we seek his forgiveness uh, through sincere repentance. But we should not live our life uh, taking such grave risk uh, that there is with no fear of with no fear of God's justice and eternal damnation. Uh, sadly, so many saints have revelations of the of the damned, and uh, it was Saint Colette. Uh, she saw souls falling into hell like snowflakes in a, in a snow flurry. Uh, that they were they were as numerous as snowflakes, and a famous saint, Saint John Christendom, was once with a companion outside of a village, uh, outside a city actually, a great city. And he said, do you see this city? He said, so few will be the number saved, uh, meaning that the, the majority of humanity does not take in consideration uh, etern the, just, the justice of God and that we must hold, be held accountable for every word, thought, or action before God. The majority of humanity uh, lives for this world uh, not thinking of eternal life, not thinking of that justice which comes at death and uh, that judgment and justice that comes at death and so sadly uh, uh, live their life not preparing f for that moment but living that life recklessly uh, without any thought or concern of, of where their soul will go after death. I even remember uh, once a man told me why he didn't go to church on Sundays because that's the day he had to work in his veggie garden and uh, that could have been done any day of the week. But we must see how important and precious our soul is and that nothing is worth losing heaven, nothing is worth losing that eternal life promised for us by God. 
we have one chance to get to heaven. We have one life. There is no second chance in this matter. Let us ask Our Lady to truly see the importance of living our life sincerely in following Christ, not risking eternal the eternal gift God promises us, but using the sacraments that God gives to us to repent and turn back to him and to make amends with God before we face that moment of his eternal justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.